What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. What's up, Mikey? What's going on, Chris? Another uh, another day. Dead. Another day, <laughs> another dead. You know what I'm saying? Another day. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, well, can we say that nowadays? Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> get to that later. Um, yeah. Uh, right off the bat, I uh, just want to apologize for this video being late. And if the Westworld yeah. video, if you watch that, uh, um, yeah, uh, Corona 2020, guys. So, you know. Yeah, it's it's uh, tough. Schedules are a bit crazy right now for both of us. Yeah. Um, Chris and I are obviously still working and uh, kind of right in the middle of this whole thing. So uh, yeah, we wanna, that's, why well, we're, that's why we're delayed a bit. So. Yeah, yeah. So uh, let's do the show and then we'll have a nice little PSA at the end. because Yeah. Uh, all right. So, Mikey, this is uh, what we become. This is Michonne. Um, I just realized on the screen, I don't have another apostrophe, uh, exclamation, um, quote, air quotes on there. Ah, uh, you guys can forgive me for that. Uh, all right. So we got some questions. This was a good yeah. episode. I like this episode. It was, it was, um, I think it was uh, an episode where, uh, you know, they, they excel at this type of stuff. I like, I, you know, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, Virgil's yeah. an a-hole. Um, uh, Virgil was, yeah, Virgil was a bit annoying <laughs> we'll yeah. get into that i don't we'll want to get start into that with... all right so listen we got questions. some questions let's let's get in yeah. let's get into uh, uh one of our first questions um yeah going back an episode yeah um really the first question is from kevin um from the facebook group and he, and kevin says uh how will beta react to alpha's alpha's death um, I think we're definitely going to get the answer to that in the next episode. Yep. I think that beta is not going to be um, a happy camper. If you've seen any of these, well, spoiler alert, if you've seen any of the videos, if you're a member of our Facebook um, group, the Walking Dead group, mm -hmm. we've posted some things about these um, upcoming scenes that we're going to get. Uh, so spoilers, if you haven't heard or seen any of those things. There's a couple scenes with with Negan and and Daryl going to the Pike, mm -hmm. um, and we also see Beta taking Alpha's head off the Pike. So we're assuming that Al that Carol's the one that puts it up there, kind of like an homage to Henry's death and everybody else that was slaughtered by Alpha. So um, yeah, he's obviously not going to be happy, and uh, I think this is where we get a lot of the comic uh, the comic storyline, the comic plot uh, with what Beta does. He's going to lose his so shit, man. Yeah, he's gonna send this big horde to Alexandria. Yeah, it's um, gonna be good. That's I think what it's, I gonna, think it's yeah. gonna happen. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Not, enough said. I agree. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so uh, from Brian, I believe. Uh, yeah, this is Brian R. From uh, I think Brian was from the Facebook group too. Okay. Um, thank you for the questions, by the way. We appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, Michonne believing that Rick uh, may be still alive was one of the most satisfying moments in the show in a long time. I agree. Uh, how did you feel about the way she found this out? Um, I, I'll s s go ahead and say, uh, I liked it. I, I thought it was, in I thought it was cool because it's one of those things where, it, you know, it, one thing led to another, led to another, led to finding it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it couldn't have happened any other way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. well, it could have obviously, but I, I, I like how it happened, you know, cause you had mm -hmm. this whole big thing with her, the entire episode, the yeah. whole episode, right? Yeah. Everything that happened, right? And at the end of it, after all said and done, she lets the guy live, right? And right, that happened all after the all after the Yeah, right? So yeah. I'm like, wait, yeah. he stays on the island. She make sure, I better make sure I'm saying it the right way in the right order. Yeah. But my thing is you have this whole episode and then you at the end they give this to you. And and, and yeah. I so you went through this harrowing experience with Michonne, which mm -hmm. for being her last episode for now, I assume. You know, it was a really good episode. It was really cool. And we'll get into the flashbacks in a minute. But yeah, so I thought it was a really, a really, a really good way. I, I enjoyed it. And, um, you know, we'll talk about what it actually, well, the writing on the phone, we'll just say it right now. The writing on the phone is in Japanese. Obviously, it's of Michonne and of Judith. But Judith now? Question yeah, mark, right? Be Judith now. So who wrote that? I mean, I think who we have it? our own little ideas or who etched it, I should say. Who etched it, right. And before, and it, before we, before, before. Um, we, we say that the one thing that, that you didn't say necessarily was yeah. when she found his boots. 
Oh, first now, the boots, correct. Comparing right, 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 right. comparing the boots, Sorry, yeah. and it's so funny because as I was watching it, I'm like, yes. And if you guys know me and what I always say and how excited I am about this information, about finally getting out that Rick may still be out there, is how everybody's going to deal with this information, how Daryl's going to deal with this information. I can't wait to see that stuff. How yeah. Negan may deal with this information that, that Rick is still alive and how the kids, um, especially Judith at the end, realize that – you know, she's like, go out there, mom. You gotta like, find which, him. which was cool. Yeah. But to compare to compare the boots to the etching in the phone, I thought the, I thought that was weird. Like, they couldn't have found like it, it couldn't was, have been like a picture, like drawing. Yeah, it was definitely weird. It was an old iPhone thing. Like, so is that giving us a hint that there might be more technology? Um, there's still a capability right, of using right, a phone yeah, right, or something right, that. Right. Uh, that uh, from the people who took Rick and 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 Jadis, the CRM right. or whoever it is, so that was my biggest thing about it. Like, if Rick initially, I'm thinking Rick was the one that maybe etched it, mm-hmm. but I'm like, man, who's the one? Who's the artist? No, we yeah, guy? there was like no, we right? no, he wouldn't so put his like, name on it and be like, Rick was here. Seen, yeah, so <laughs> I'm assuming it's something that Jadis is possibly going to give to Rick, and it's kind of. Well, she didn't give it to Rick because it was left on the boat, but something that she hoped to give to Rick. And maybe she she's seen Judith and Michonne recently. That's why we're getting that more um, uh, to date look of Judith. Let me can I can I give you another theory, an alternate yeah. theory of mine? Yeah. What if it's someone we haven't met who was. OK, these people take people, right? A, B, right? They take these people for what we don't know, right? But she said, you know, Jadis took Rick, considered him to be what, an A, I think, or whatever, right? Yeah. What if he was grouped up with other people who were taken and now they're hostages being taken on a boat someplace, right? And yeah. and when you're with people, what what's Rick do? You know, maybe someone nursed them back to health and that person he got the talking to and he says, I have... Uh, you know, a daughter and a wife, and this is what they look like. And I, I just, I, I just want to see my daughter grown up wearing my hat. And you know, and whoever it was, was of Japanese origin, right? Right. And but Rick being Rick, true. Rick being Rick is a leader, and he has a lot of like leaderisms. You know what I'm saying? So he's like that pull. Yeah, he's like so, that trust that someone could. Yeah. Right. But what I'm saying is, his. It could have been a mantra that he created, meaning, so what was written on the thing? We haven't said it yet. Believe a little longer is what was written in the kanji on the thing, right? But it's also said, Rick, what if this person was just, did that? Like, I'm going to draw what he's saying, just maybe even not for Rick, but then wrote what Rick said to this person. Believe a little longer. That I could see Rick being like, to telling everybody in like the hull of the boat, don't worry, just believe it a little longer. We're going to get out of this or something, right? And then she wrote yeah. his name because he was the author of that quote. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So that's my theory. That That's a theory. Yeah, no, I, hey, you know. I mean, it could be. It could be, yeah, it could have been something yeah. like, a, like, a, like a gift that this person was going to give to him when she sees him next. Or just even I mean, just, just for everybody. Just like Rick said yeah. this, this is it his, could, you know. I just think that with the whole Judith, like this thing was for him. You know, Maybe. with the image yeah. that's it's Michonne and Judith. It's, you know, and at the end we see the, these these groups of people marching away when when Michonne and these two new characters see this large parade of people. Yeah. So that could be the A's. That can be the B's. Rick could be in that group. Potentially. We don't know. Um, I doubt that he's this close. He's been gone for six years in the timeline or so six, yeah. seven years. So it's um, who knows where he is and and. And who no, knows? We'll find out. We'll find out. This, event, event, yeah, well, Michonne not this year and, anymore or anything. Yeah. Or, but yeah, we'll figure it out. All right. We'll so see. let's move on. Right. What do we got? Yes. Uh, we got uh, question three. Um, this is from Kerry. What did you think of Daryl and Rick killing Michonne in her halluc- in her hallucination? Mm. Um, dude. Hallucinations. Dude, those yeah. were awesome. It was yeah. really fun. To yeah. see what would have happened, because I believe that that would have happened. I absolutely believe. Well, we she could have gone about either. Fo- like, she could have gone yeah. either way, man. And, and who was the always? And who who's the bad people compared to where us as the viewer are looking through the eyes of? Right. 
you know, we always said, like, if we started the show with Negan's group and Negan growing into the Saviors, how would we look at Rick and all these? Look, Rick and his group ran through their compound and killed the, these people in their sleep all right, and well, stuff. And well, that's, here, it, see, that's that's almost well, that an easy cool. question. That's an almost easy question, dude, oh, just real quick, because yeah. Negan was taking from people. Yeah. He was calling it protection, but it's it's what the mob does. Okay? Yeah. You don't walk into some place and be like, give me money and I'm going to protect you. That's yeah. not how you fucking live life. So, Negan and the Saviors are always bad guys. Bottom line. Okay, now. Yeah, back to no, these no, hallucinations, I agree, I agree, right? but it's just one of those Dude, things. It was yeah. so good. It was so cool. I fucking yeah. loved it. It was so great seeing yeah. her with the bat and like, you know, um, I, dude, I thought it was fantastic. I'm not skirting the question. I just want to go out and just say, like, it was like the beginning of the show. I was like, oh, this is going to be interesting. I was like, I think I know what they're going to do. I didn't know how they were going to get there, but obviously she gets, you know, drugged and has a hallucination. Uh -huh. I thought it was really cool. I didn't agree too much with the drugging, but, you know, it was like, whatever. That was a little weird. The whole Virgil, Virgil was like the, 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 probably the most negative part of this whole. Yeah. I mean, I love the actor, like but bit, the whole. It was a bit annoying. And yes, these people, you know, how long very, were these other people trapped in this room next to her? And, dude, very, dude, this episode was very, very, uh, Telltale series, wasn't it? I feel like it was yeah. very, it could be like a storyline from Telltale series. Now, granted, I haven't well, I played, played through played. the last did three seasons. Play, did but you play the Michonne one? I didn't play it. It's on my Xbox. I never I played, played the Michonne yet. one also. So yeah. I don't know. Maybe there's some similarity. You haven't played it? See, that that, that strikes I me as weird. I didn't play the Michonne man. one because I remember, like, I I wasn't like, I don't know. There was something about it that I wasn't necessarily, like, into, into yeah. No, doing listen, that? you could I don't, now. I don't know. You but maybe to. it's something that we can even. Oh, go we back can, maybe in. we could jump on it. I got it. Like I said, I got it. It's loaded up right now. Yeah. Is when we work yeah. on the other ones. So. Um. Anyway, yeah. So I guess. Um. What do I think? Um. Uh. Yeah. yeah I, I thought it was perfect. It, right. Finish sure off. Yeah. I think it was yeah. perfect that they were the ones to do it. That was awesome. Like, yeah. They of course they, of course she was a maniac. Mm -hmm. Of course she would. Do, they would do that. Yeah. Hell yeah! And they and teamed for, up. And for someone, for someone as close as as rick was and daryl was to her to see them be the ones that finish her off with daryl with the with the arrow and yeah. rick just coming over her and and shooting her man, yeah. was um it's was great. crazy you know yeah, it was great even even um even the uh we we saw glimpses from the old footage with andrea and stuff it was just cool glenn and just it was kind of cool to see andrea got um, she of, got killed man yeah yeah letting her go so it was um it was really interesting to see some of these old characters um, back yeah. on the show, yeah. and and um, for Michonne's last episode, it was it was it was done it was done great. We'll get yeah. into the Virgil stuff because that's like a part of the next well, question. That's do, the only well, like thing that I kind of couldn't stand uh, so, a little bit. But. Yeah. All right. So the next question from Alex um, asked, you know, Alex says I think that Virgil knew about Rick. Um, you know, and what do we think about that? Uh, if, that 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 Virgil knew more that about Rick. He, than he knew he more than yeah. what he was telling. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, I definitely think it could be. I think it was. We saw in this episode how much it was. Well, he knew about that boat. Grueling. He knew the boat was yeah. there and everything. Yeah, it was really grueling for Michonne to get information out of this guy. Remember, she's like, "Come on, let's oh, go." Oh my no, god, we, dude, that's one of my notes, dude. Night. Yeah, I said, "Oh my I, god, this guy Virgil is an asshole." That was my note because he's just, she's like, tell me this thing. He's like, my wife and my kid. I'm like, shut the fuck up. I know. He was, he was a little annoying. I kind of felt for him when he collected the, the lavender or whatever it was, or yeah, well. those flowers and he placed it on the grave initially thinking that his family was there, but they weren't, they were walkers, you know, hung in this that building. Was sick. That, was, was. that was sick. So yeah, yeah I mean, the ver he kind of annoyed me a bit. Uh, it was a little bit dragged on in the beginning of the episode from them to get from, you know, the boat yeah. to yeah. the thing. And then you find out he has these people held and he burns the boat. And, what an asshole. And, yeah, just he, an kind asshole of, he kind of was a bit annoying. I don't know if that was more the writing than the actual actor doing the, a good job or not, but I don't know. Uh, no, we I, always say the actors do a fantastic job, but they're yeah. only as good as the material they're working with. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I agree. I think he definitely knew more. But at that point, she's like, whatever, I'm done with you. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Maybe maybe he didn't know more about Rick, the person himself. Per se, maybe never, but more about but what went about on. about what was going on on that on the boat. Correct. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah because I he said I the boat, boats, wash, boats wash ashore all the time. And also, yeah, classic uh, ev evasion I, answer. Yeah. yeah. So, 
All right, so look, that's uh, that's that. We there's a couple other things we need to talk about. One is um the fact that the finale is yeah. now pushed back. What you know, it's this is episode thirteen. There's only like there's supposed to be like three episodes left, but now they're going to be pushing back the finale, um, and it's going to be like a special event or something. When yeah, we don't even know when even that's going to be. When it is, yeah, and you know, so and, and also with the world beyond, right? The world, the world beyond, beyond was supposed, was supposed to, April to be April twenty second. Twenty second or the twelfth? That was April twelfth. Uh, we're right about one of the numbers. One, okay, yeah. Wait, let me say, put it in my calendar. I might have put it in my calendar. I think calendar. it's the twenty second. Let me say that. Put it in April. I did no. The twenty second is a Wednesday, bro. So no. No. We're both. Right, so, it's the twelfth because it's a Sunday. It's yeah. The, all right. So okay. So I was wrong and yeah, you were right. 12th. Uh, but yeah, that show has been pushed up. We don't necessarily know when that's going to be. Um, with everything that's going on with the with the coronavirus, obviously things have been pushed up. It was a lot of people were saying, and, and we even got some questions about like, yo, dude, how come how come the the finale was filmed months ago? How come there? It's, no, it's all like a post production. It's post production, you know. Yeah. So it's like it's it, not stuff you it, can do from home. They're still working on these yeah. episodes, you know, up until a couple of weeks or so before they even air. So that's why we're able to get these last two, fourteen and fifteen. Um, and we'll see, we'll see if it's a summer thing. Um, we'll see how this affects fear. We'll see how this affects um, season eleven of The Walking Dead that would normally start everything, in October. Everything, yeah, is everything is, is right going to be pushed up a little bit. So until this thing kind of um, quiets itself down and everybody sticks together and stays home and stays inside, and we kind of flatten this curve that everybody's talking about, um, you yeah, know, listen, the sooner that we'll get some of these, yeah, these shows back. Exactly. And um, listen, just to round it out, you know, I, yeah. I'll do this once. I did it on the Westward video. If you haven't seen that, I'm going to I'm not going to go. As, I'm not going to get as mad as I did, although I might be. Listen, Mike and I are both still working. Like Mike mentioned, I'm a mailman. He's Mike works in a hospital. We're still we're still working. You know, Mike is in the mix of this every day. OK, and he has way more contact than I do with people. But please stay home. Don't walk around your block. Don't. I understand you want to be, you want to take your dog out. You, oh, I'm home. I could do this. You know, just don't talk to people in the street. I, I see it every day, and it's driving me crazy, guys. Please, don't, yeah. don't approach your mailman. Don't try and take packages from them. Just let them do the job, and leave them alone. Don't go near them. Stay away. Everybody, just stay the fuck home. That's all we got to say. Stay home. Don't listen. As far as on my end with the mail, uh, wear gloves when you're touching your mail. Or disinfect the mail in your packages. Please don't let your kids touch the mail. All right. Make sure that you're all washing your hands. You're washing your face. You're 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 not. Just stay home, man. Just stay home. All right. It's not yeah. good. It's not good out there right now. Stay home. You may think you don't have it, and that may be true, but it also may not be true, and you don't know that. Okay. Right. You don't know if your mailman has it, or if you, if the guy that you just talk to on the street when you're walking your dog with each other. You don't know. Yeah. Stay home. You don't because a to... lot of people, a lot of people just don't get the symptom. That's like the biggest thing. Exactly. Some people can have it. Some people could to. have had it already, and um, you won't know and, until you get and that you test. And you didn't even right. know. Uh, but, so that's that's a big reason. I know as New Yorkers, we're not the the ones to be told what to do, and I think that's probably a big reason why there's the most cases in the country is, are are in New York, especially right. in the city. So um, you know it, it's tough, but we'll get through it. People are dying, um, so just just. But the only way we're gonna get through it is if you just stay home. Yeah. You don't have to go for a jog around the block. Because yeah. everyone else is, do you really don't. I know you want to get a tread. I don't know what the fuck, but don't <laughs> talk. Don't congregate. Don't talk to yeah. people. Don't take your, your your nineteen kids out around the corner and see the other group. Don't do it. All right. Stay solitary. Stay confined. Just stop. I get it. I get it. It sucks. Your kids are home and they're driving you crazy. I get it. But you want them to die. That's all I gotta say. All right. Where can they get to yep. us, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> They can get to it. We should make that should be like a commercial spot on t on television. Yeah, maybe right. people will listen. Maybe people will listen better. Yeah. They will. Of course, check us out at Third Person on all the social media outlets. Um, again, we're sorry about the delay of this video as, as well as the Westworld videos, the Q and A's. Uh, we appreciate all the questions. Yeah, we appreciate all the Absolutely, questions from yeah. everybody. Um, these shows have really been cool, and it's really a time where, like Chris says, stay inside. This is a time where you can catch up on shows. Uh, if you don't know about the Badlands. Binge it if you didn't watch it before. I know a lot of our friends from the Badlands groups are rewatching these things. Yep, um, it's, it's one of our favorite. You can get through them. They're yeah. great. Yeah, it's great. So we have plenty of time. Stay indoors. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your eyes. And um, again, 
we'll get through it and uh, we just got to stick together and work together yep. and Chris and I will definitely like to uh, continue to put these videos out sooner than later I think we'll be able to get them out more of a, a time right after the episodes air uh, next 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 go back to the no, next hopefully we'll go back to normal paying yeah. schedules don't get any crazier yeah so. exactly all right so that's it thanks for watching we love you guys stay safe and uh you know till next week we'll see you guys later peace